Hello everyone and welcome to today's thought-provoking discussion. The topic we're diving into today is one that stirs deep emotions and raises profound questions. This is the only sin that God does not forgive. It's a subject that has been debated by theologians, scholars, and believers for centuries. So, let's explore this concept together with an open mind and heart. In many religious teachings, the concept of sin is central to the relationship between humanity and the divine. Sins are generally viewed as actions or behaviors that go against the will of God, distancing us from His grace. But among all sins, there's one that is often cited as unforgivable. You might wonder, what could be so severe that even God's infinite mercy cannot cover it? The sin we're talking about is known as blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. It's mentioned in the New Testament of the Bible, specifically in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Let me read a passage from the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verses 31 to 32. Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven but anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. This passage has led to much reflection and, frankly, fear among believers. What does it truly mean to commit blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? And why is it that this sin, above all others, is deemed unforgivable? To understand this, we need to first grasp the nature of the Holy Spirit in Christian theology, the Holy Spirit is often seen as the presence of God within us, the one who guides, convicts, and comforts. It's through the Holy Spirit that we receive the truth and are led to repentance. To blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, therefore, is not just about uttering words of defiance. It is a willful, persistent rejection of God's truth and grace. It's a hardened heart that refuses to acknowledge or accept the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. When a person reaches a point where they deny the very essence of God's truth and reject the means through which they can be forgiven, they cut themselves off from the possibility of redemption. It's not that God doesn't want to forgive, but rather that the individual has closed the door to that forgiveness. They've chosen, with full knowledge, to reject God's grace. This sin is unforgivable not because God's mercy has limits, but because the sinner has refused to embrace that mercy. But before we let fear or anxiety take hold, let's clarify something crucial. This sin is not something that a person stumbles into accidentally. It's not a fleeting doubt or a moment of anger. It's a deliberate and persistent stance against the truth of God, despite knowing that truth fully. Most of us are not in danger of committing this sin, if we still have the capacity to feel remorse, to seek forgiveness, and to desire a relationship with God. So what should we take away from this discussion? The concept of an unforgivable sin is not meant to lead us into despair, but to remind us of the seriousness of our spiritual journey. It calls us to stay open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, to remain humble, and to seek forgiveness earnestly. It's a call to examine our hearts and ensure that we are not hardening them against the truth. As we reflect on this topic, let's remember that God's love and mercy are vast. The message here is not one of condemnation, but of caution and encouragement. Keep your heart open, stay in prayer, and continue to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in all things. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of such a deep and meaningful topic. If this video resonated with you, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, God's love is always within reach, no matter where you are on your spiritual journey.